Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this uh, Cinema 4D free plugin video, I want to talk about a plugin called Drop to Floor. Now, Drop to Floor is a bit of a long standing classic. Um, it does one thing, it's pretty simple, but there was a bit of an issue when it came to Cinema 4D R20. As some of you will have probably already noticed, some of your plugins don't work in R20. And that's because they're probably, um, well, they are C++ based. So all plugins have to be Python based now. And um, that presented a little bit of a problem when it came uh, came to drop to floor. Now, someone over at Alpha Pixel has very kindly rewritten drop to floor. So it works in R20. Um, so it's now Python based. So I'll be putting a link to this website in the description of this video and on my website. Uh, and what I've done here, I've actually docked a drop to floor button um, in my UI. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to Window, Customization, Customize Palettes, and then you can search for a drop to floor, and then you can just drag this in like that, and you'll get a little button there. I've already done it, so I don't need to do that. So let's uh, just give a quick rundown of the actual plugin itself. I've got a few objects in the scene here. I've got a cube to the left here. So if I... Uh, have my cube selected and press drop to floor, you will see that what it does is it looks for the uh, lowest extremity of this cube object. So, um, you know, the lowest uh, set of points in the Y direction and aligns them with world zero in the, in the Y direction. Uh, so it works for objects. It also works for hierarchies as well. So um, I've got this safe model here and as you can see, there's a hierarchy there, so you choose its uh, topmost parent, press the drop to floor plugin, boom, and it puts its lowest point to world zero. Well, world zero in the Y direction. Uh, it also works to um, push things up to the floor as well. So it's not just that it, it drops down from any point above zero, it does the same thing, uh, you know, if its lowest point is below zero as well. So this washing machine is below, um, zero on the y direction drop to floor bang pushes it up great it also works for point deformation as well so what i've got here is a bend on um this model of a human female and if i choose the uh the bend actually and uh, put a little bit of a bend on it you can see that it's deformed the points of her feet which are the lowest point of the model now because of that bend and if i choose the uh, actual mesh itself and press drop to floor you can see that the lowest point on this deformed mesh is now at the bottom so like I said it's pretty handy it saves you having to line up stuff with the floor when you can just click a button and it and it'll push it down in the y direction to where you need it to be for my viewers on YouTube please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials you can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials you can also follow me on social media links in the description and the footer of my website if you'd like to help support digital meet this can be done via patreon or the support page on the website but if you want to help Digital Meat keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. I also have a second YouTube channel called Beef Doctor, which is a bit of a dumping ground for non-3D content and where I'm streaming games. There's a link in the description and the footer of digitalmeat.uk. I hope to see you guys in the chat. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!